Good evening. We begin with the latest on a story we've been covering for you all day. A three-year-old boy is dead after police say a drunk driver plowed into his family on the sidewalk. The crash happened on McHenry Avenue about 4.30 this morning. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live where it happened with reaction from those who know the boy's mother. Jay? Well, Tanya, we've learned a little bit more about Jocelyn Austin, who just moved to Westwood about two months ago. She and her children were walking along the sidewalk here on McHenry when it is alleged that 35-year-old Sheba Basabosa crossed the double line and struck them here on the sidewalk. Now, she is alleged to have been uh, drunk, say police, and charged with OVI southbound on McHenry when she crossed over that double yellow line and came up onto the sidewalk. 31-year-old Jocelyn Austin was pushing her one-year-old in a stroller as her five-year-old and three-year-old Rodriguez walked with her. Now, Basabosa's car might have kept going if not for this fire hydrant that she ran over. We went to the apartment building nearby where uh, Austin moved into, and we spoke to a young woman who said that she had recently met her. My heart goes out to her and her family, and I couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine. You mom Me being a mother or? of three, um, and my kids are the same age as hers. So when I heard about it, I just couldn't imagine going through what she's going through. Now you're looking at a live picture right here along McHenry Avenue. Just within the last half hour, someone dropped off two teddy bears and a card here at the location in which three-year-old Rodriguez Taylor was struck and killed again. 35-year-old Sheba Basabosa is charged with OVI, and the police say that other charges are pending. Coming up at 6 o'clock, Austin was uh, very little mean, say her landlord, and we'll talk to that landlord and how they got her started here in the new neighborhood. Jay Warren, 9 News, Westwood. Horrible story there tonight. Thank you, Jay.